Hey guys, it's John, and today I thought I'd continue my redstone series, and this is going to be episode 3 again, I think. Um, but today we're going to be doing T flip flops, and T flip flop is kind of similar to a lever. A lever can be on or off, just like that, and a T flip flop can be on or off. Just like that. Um, T flop flip flops used to be quite difficult to build and uh, kind of hard to understand, but with the addition of pistons, uh, it is much easier to build and understand. So, this is the piston T flip flop. It's one of the most simple T flip flip flops you can get, I think. And over here is a minecart T flip flop. The uh, minecart T flip flop isn't really. Um, isn't really necessary anymore because it takes so much resources and you you probably wouldn't use them they're really slow as well I just thought it was quite a cool concept of minecarts and pressure plates and stuff and an RS Nora latch here as well so I'll explain this in a second and but I'll go over this first so this is a very simple T flip flop it's really easy to build and I'll show you guys how to build it in a second but I grab my phone it's making a noise over there. Um, so the pistons here are on either side are pushing a block from side to side and there's a redstone torch here. So at the moment the redstone torch cannot actually power this redstone at all because it only gives power out to the blocks around it and not above it. I mean not like above it diagonally but it does give power to uh, the block above it. So if we were to give this power, what's going to happen is this block is going to move from here to here and then the redstone torch will give this block power and hence uh, power this redstone and power whatever's, wherever the redstone is attached to. So if we were to hit the button, the block will move, move over, then the redstone torch as you can see there is going to start powering this block and then power the redstone. So then we can turn it off again. Pistons are going to move over and the rest and torch will stop powering this. And this button is just basically linked up with redstone to redstone torches on each side. So when we hit the button, the redstone torches are going to deactivate and then swap the sides that the 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 block is setting. So I was going to do the old T flip flop, but it's it's kind of overly complicated and it's kind of not really used anymore because this one is um, in use and it's much easier to build. But I'll go over this one here because I thought it was quite cool. So what we have here is a button that is linked up to blocks here and here, and when you power a block that is directly adjacent to a redstone. What are they call these called again? Powered tracks. So if you were to power this block, then this uh, track would be powered as well. And then if a minecart was sitting here, it would move. So we have a minecart over here. And when we hit the button, the minecart is going to go along here and hit this uh, pressure plate. But it's not going to do anything because this side of the RS neural latch is already activated. But then it's going to come around here and then hit this pressure plate. Like that. And it's going to activate this side of the RS neural latch and hence deactivate this redstone. And then it's going to go and stop here. And then we can hit the button again and it'll go around, hit the special plate again, nothing's going to happen. And then it's going to hit this special plate and then activate it. So let's go and hit the button. As you can see, it's really slow, so it's not very useful. But it's quite a cool concept. If you come over here, if you're wondering why the pressure plate is being activated by the uh, minecart, this is a... I guess it's not really supposed to happen, but it's just because the minecart is so wide, it kind of... Uh, when it goes past the pressure plate on a corner, it seems to activate it. Because when... Um, 
minecarts are in corners, they go diagonally rather than going straight, straight, straight. They just go diagonally. So that's why it hits the pressure plate and then that's why this works. But I guess it's kind of pointless for me showing you this, but I just thought it was kind of cool, so... Anyway, that's about it for T-flip-flops. It's These things are really easy to build, and I'll show you guys how to build this in a second. Um, over here, and I'll give you, you guys the, the world download anyway. But to build it, all we need to do is put down... Uh, dig out two blocks, and put a resin torch there. And you can use sticky pistons here and here. Uh, put a block on either side, doesn't really matter, and put two blocks on top of that. And then all we need to do is add in redstone torches on either side, and we're going to have our button, going to activate these to redstone torches, so we're going to have redstone coming from here, and we're going to have a button around about here, where's my, there they are. Hit it, and yeah. So, the output is going to be where the redstone torch is sitting, and the redstone torch is sitting under that block there. Redstone torch is sitting there, so we're going to have a redstone coming out here, and we're going to have whatever we're powering over here. So, as we hit it, it's going to toggle on and off like a lever. Uh, so that's about it really for T flip flops, and I'm going to show you guys an example of what you can use it for in another video, and the other video is going to be how to make a light switch. So. I'll be making that tomorrow, I think, so... Yeah, anyway guys, I shall see you guys later.